the meeting um, to order. And because we have some new faces at the table, I think we should go around and do um, introductions. So um, my name is Maureen McCoy. Um, currently serving as chair and uh, I'm a longtime member of Loma. I've served on the Historic Preservation Commission. I, I really love how uh, that ties to it. So we'll just go clockwise. I just think that what clockwise was. <laughs> <laughs> Your uh, clockwise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Your clockwise. Everybody. Yeah. Why is this demonstrating? Okay. Clockwise. I'm Candy Shy. I'm back. <laughs> and I think y'all know I've talked enough about my roots and things like that. So I think y'all know that now. Yeah. Yep, we do. A long standing history. Good to have you back. I'm Carrie Cruz and um, I'm let's see, I've served on the board from two thousand and fourteen for two uh, terms because I think Willie took twenty twenty a year <coughs> off to prepare our grant application <laughs> and then came back on the board for 2021 and here I am um, at the end of this term. So I don't know if I'd I seen you just when you were off because it worked the whole time. It was a busy year. It was a little catch like that. But it's just a joy to, to serve this house. So I'm Joan Path Mayor, been in Longmont for 42 years and um, it's a long time. And I found out that the um, wife of the mayor comes to these meetings so I don't have a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to try to come as much as I can because I love the, the uh, Callahan house a lot so I've been active in the city for ever drove my husband entirely nuts <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, she has the cutest little grandson, and they had a little lovely little christening lunch for him this last year. Aww. We did. It was fun. Yes. Yeah. Here. Yep. Right in this room. Oh. He, he tells oh. jokes. He's so funny. <laughs> yeah, he's really funny. He told. So can I tell you one little thing? Because I'm really sure. proud of him. Um, so they had Christmas in Florida, but their homes in Pennsylvania. So my son ran to the a van, and they're driving back, and they were in Asheville, North Carolina at a restaurant and um, there was some musician, I'm assuming it was a guitar player, and Hudson went up to him and said, excuse me, excuse me, to get his attention and he said, can you play James Taylor Forever on my mind? <laughs> How old is he? And that's what the guy, he said, How old are you? And he said, well, actually I'm four. And wow. uh, the, the diner started clapping and laughing and it scared him to death. So he grabbed Alabama back to his parents. Ah. So, Never do that again. Yeah. <laughs> what Until the next time. Until the, yeah, right. 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 precocious. Yeah, they probably online. just end up. <laughs> great, great <coughs> fact that they have no, no um, inhibitions. Inhibitions. That's yeah. exactly it. Just lovely. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm Ann Thompson, and um, I'm in my second term. And um, I really love the Callahan House. And I always just like to mention um, when I introduce myself that when I moved to Longmont from Kenosha three years ago, my very first job was here at the Callahan House. I was out in the gardens. Yes, oh, yeah. So <laughs> kind of came full circle after I retired from my regular career, then I came up here. So. And everybody knows me. I'm Kathy Corkola, and I'm the Callahan House manager. And um, I have been here almost 12 years. It'll be 12 years at the end of March. So, yay. Um, I'm Sue Ellen Dabney. I'm a recreation program supervisor for the city of Longmont. I'm associated with Callahan House. And um, with my exciting thing for, I can retire now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's not all that's exciting. Uh, yeah. Sue Ellen got engaged. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> If I ring coming um, the end of this week or next week. So, yeah. so that handsome fellow that I've seen in church. Yeah, he's my guy. So I'm very nice. excited. Um, so that wedding and then I have two other daughters. Two daughters getting married this year. Oh my oh, god. Wow. This year too? Wow. Yes. Oh, yeah, you wow. might as well congratulate them for doing their together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was an easy lump sum. It'll be very nice. Wow. Congratulations. Great. That's exciting. 
Uh, I'm Brittany Hastings. Uh, I'm super excited to be a part of this. Um, and I've worked in nonprofits and cultural facilities since 2015. Um, I studied fine arts and history and art history in school, and I just love history. And I had the pleasure of working at the Molly Brown House in Denver. Um, that was my first like introduction to museums and nonprofits and cultural facilities, and I just loved it. And so that was probably like my favorite job I've ever had. And so I'm really excited to kind of transfer that experience to the Callahans and um, just kind of dive in and, and serve Longmont by being part of this group. So. Exciting. Yes. Yes. That's, that's great knowledge. Wonderful. And I'm Cindy Martini. I've been a resident of Longmont for 20 years. I came from Chicago. Um, and I have been in, uh, my, my degree's in journalism, and I've been in uh, public relations and employee communications for almost 30 years, I guess. <laughs> and I have always admired old homes and I've always admired the Callahan House. And every time I go by when there's an event, I think, I wish I could be part of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful when they're in the garden, especially. <coughs> yeah. So uh, I, and I just love getting more history about the town and promoting that kind of thing. So I really look forward to and I'm Karen Reed. I'm serving my second term. Lived in Longwood since 1985. And history is, I, I have a degree in history. I just love old things. And, and this house personifies that. It's just to just see people when they come through the house and you talk to them. It is just such a big, just, it's a real heart warmer. It's, yeah. it's a great thing to be involved with. And I love working with you girls. <laughs> Thank you for calling us all girls. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hi, too. Hi, dear. Hi, I, I feel so much younger. <laughs> um, all right. Um, moving right along. Um, approval of minutes from previous meeting. Um, the minutes that were submitted to you, Kathy, were changed slightly. And um, I don't quite understand why you did that. I took out one editorial comment and fixed a couple of typos. Um, but I don't understand why you didn't, the editorial, I don't think it was an editorial comment because it was put in without board input or discussion and that was part of the reason why that was stated or put was because we wanted to make sure that we it was clear to anybody that we weren't doing board business outside of it was also stated later in the minutes as well yeah it was stated so let's see. I don't think it's stated quite the same I think the the Phrase that's missing at the end of the second sentence is um, without board input or, input or discussion, which is pertinent because it is um, confirming that the board business has been done outside of board meetings. Um, so I think that's relevant and it's pertinent. We need to have that back in. It just states what is not stated later. And, and that was one of the things that was really stressed to us by um, in the training from the city and in addition to um, that the um, assistant city attorney uh, or Tim, I'm forgetting his last name, I apologize, but oh, 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 that he, yeah, and um, stating that it's really, we've got to be very clear that we're not discussing or doing anything outside of the board meetings even when we're taking down trees or or doing anything so that's that's I think it should be included well that's absolutely true about board functions but it wasn't a board function yeah. right but that's clearly not, stated here I think it's yeah. not it's not clear that it's not board function until um, at the open house the holiday open house 
I think it's okay to add back in the words without board input or discussion at the end of the last sentence. It just makes it very clear that you know board input or discussion or meeting. And I don't know if you ladies saw it because I'm not sure that you thought that that it was originally on the um, minutes that were submitted um, in uh, adjustment to agenda um, item. Uh, um, and it was the statement uh, without board input or discussion with women. I'll add that in. Thank you. Anything else? No. Um, it has, has the rest of you ladies had a chance to read over the minutes? Um, yeah. Yeah. I just have one question. Um, on the call to order, do we need to mention that somebody came late? Um, I think it's important. That we do because I don't think that's been done before. It has yeah. in past years. Well, because we're, it's a it's it's about who's there and who's present for the for the meeting when we're having the discussions. I think it's important that we state when somebody arrives and that that they weren't privy to some other discussion prior to that point. I, normally, we just list who's here. That's why I don't think it's needed. I don't think it's necessary to say who's late, who came when, um, who left earlier. You know, we can get real nitpicky about this if we want to. It gets to be too much detail. Yeah, that's really yeah. not the point. I, I know. Yeah, that's it. It's really not the point. It's just mainly so you know who was here. That's the yeah. Yeah. This is a volunteer position, correct? So right. nobody's keeping track of attendance, no attendance, being late, right? That type of thing. So I would feel almost like. Punished. Yeah, I mean, that's I what I felt. Called out. Yeah, my name was mentioned that I was that I showed up five minutes late. Yeah. Five minutes late. By the way, <laughs> the only reason it's pertinent is because of, of votes and motions. And that's the only reason. That I mean, that's the only reason it's pertinent. But but honestly, as long as we have a quorum without that person, that's it. I, you know, it really it doesn't really have an impact. Yeah, like I, I, to me, it's getting a little too big for what we are. Okay, um, so are you making a motion that we amend that, and remove it, or, or just going forward? Um, well, we can leave it to what other people. Is there any discussion? Should we leave it, or should we just try going forward just to have it be a, a roll call type thing? Because that's how I always kind of took it as. I mean, uh, I. So are we in discussion or are we, I need a, if, if we're going to change it, I need a motion to, to, to change it or I need a motion that we move forward and, and from this yeah, point. I'll move that we uh, just keep the call to order uh, in the minutes as a, as a roll call, not as a, not as a timekeeping thing. I don't know how to work that exactly, but um, I think that's pretty good. Can I get a second? I'll second that. All in favor? Uh, okay. um, I'll oppose. So you want me to take that out of the minutes? Um, no, we should just going forward. Just going okay, forward. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. So um, can we accept the minutes as as um, as amended at this point? I so move. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Um, moving forward to the house manager's report. Did everybody get a chance to read the house manager's report? Does anybody have questions or counting in regards to that report? I have some questions. Okay. Um, with respect to the word booked in, in total number of um, 2022 revenue minutes booked. I'm sorry, what sheet are you referring to? Uh, your Okay, I just, just want to look at the same thing. What, which sheet? Can we manage this for the photo? Page one? Or which the first page. Yeah. Does that mean booked or actualized? And um, the reason I'm asking is because you know how sometimes you have uh, events booked and then some get canceled. I'm just asking 
is that how many uh, revenue events that were actually held? Are we talking about 2022? Yes, the 2022. Yes. Okay. And, it, and it's just a running tally. Right. But that's actualized. Okay. It is at the point at which they happen. I'm sorry, I'm lost, but we're on this page. Here. She's, she's right here. Oh, first page. It's it's a running tally. So at this point, it's actualized because 2022 is over. Right. Right. Up up until then, it may not be actualized. Right. I'm just thinking ahead for that in the report yeah. we're going to be submitting so to City Council. I want to make sure that we're going to be saying that it's right. It's, it's, so, um, well, um, and then I have a quick question about center, the senior center retreat. Is that a revenue generating event or is that a cons considered a city event? It's a city event. Okay. All right. And they're upstairs right now. Okay. And um, I think it's great. Yeah, we don't charge the city for, for meetings here unless they're um like public facing in which case we might charge them depending on what it is okay. All right. okay and i think it's great we got 219 dollars in donations yes. that's great um i wanted to ask a question about the addition of the pe chapter J. Um, so you you added this like the prior to recently added the dominoes and the without word input or discussion. We do know, and we've been talking about putting together club criteria because there is that fine balance between um, clubs at the house versus revenue generating events. Um, while this one has historic significance, which is good, the PEO chapter, um, I think something that should be um, considered going forward not to add any further clubs um, until we get that club selection criteria complete, which is on our, our schedule. Until what? The club criteria. Um, well, well um, did, did you not state, Sue Ellen, that we didn't want to add any more clubs at this time because of the renovations, renovations and whatever? Mm -hmm. And that's why you felt that it was necessary that we didn't do a, a club criteria or, or putting forth and yet there was discussion and, and uh, uh, disagreement that we should at least get a criteria together prior to to having clubs, but yet we're now we're adding clubs. It's it's like we're saying, yeah, we're going to do this, but then we change the. Am I not making myself clear? But we were already in discussions with PEO Chapter J H. They've been they've been um, considering it since before the first of December. So we, we've already we were already in discussions with them. We had already, I had already given them the criteria. I'd already talked to them about the fees. We'd already looked at dates. But you didn't, didn't share that. You didn't share it with us at all. I honestly, adding clubs has been the purview of the, it's the house job. manager. Yeah, it's like job. that's my job. It's your job. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she needs. I mean, mm -hmm. I just, it's, it's just it, more of a that you're in the talks of. Yeah. Wouldn't you know, if I talked to you about everything I did, we these meetings would be days long. Mm -hmm. Well, with the fact that we've been discussing how to select clubs, I think that well, that I was, was absent from the November meeting, mm -hmm. but and it, it's it, just it, been a discussion to this point, right? Before the December meeting, so you could have said, Hey, we're just in some discussions here, ready to bring you up to speed. I'm wondering if, um, if this is a a discussion item further, it could be added to the agenda. At the it's actually on the agenda. So, always. if we could continue just with the house manager piece at this point, it, it would be nice to keep the conversations mm -hmm. um, organized succinctly um, by, by packet area. If, that, if that's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so my last my last question for me is how um, are, is the online marketing being tracked? Um, I'm sorry, how is the online marketing, marketing being tracked? Um, you're stating that, um, that there's this 20% increase in increase in revenue events in 2022, and that's resulted in increased books and bookings for 2023. And then you further state this is a clear indication that our online marketing is reaching a wider audience. How how is that being tracked? Are all of those new bookings um, from online marketing? Uh, first of all. I, I have a running tally of inquiries for years, 
So I looked at year to year inquiries from 2021 to 2022, and we've had a 20% increase in inquiries. Um, our biggest vehicle for driving inquiries is uh, the Knot and Wedding Wire, or Wedding Pro, which is the two of them combined. And um, that information is on the beginning of every report about how many inquiries we're getting from where. Um, and since we aren't really doing outreach in any other manner except word of mouth, um, the largest percentage of our inquiries are coming in from online. And so in particular, wedding wire in the not here. And so when they're looking, are you confirming how they? How Most of the time, I know where they came from. Um, every single every single booking, we have an inquiry sheet, and we and we track all of them, which is how I give you the numbers on the earlier part of the report. Right. So that's confirmed that you were there. Yes. Karen, did you have any more questions? Um, just want to confirm a couple of things. Last, um, so Marlon, did any donations come in through the QR code? I was just double checking on it. The Callahan House Fund report. Not at this time. Okay. Um, it's great that we did have a total of six hundred eighteen dollars in donations for the last year. That's wonderful. And it looks like there's about from the difference between the revenues and the expenses, there's about sixteen thousand and a little bit more to be placed in the Callahan House Fund from that number is actually closer to fourteen. Just the yeah, the expenses for the year don't close out as quickly as they do for personal or the revenue for that matter. My my sheet is, is more accurate. So so somewhere around fourteen is gonna be added to the forty eight that's yes. currently in that household. At that's some point. Good. At some point when they close the close the books for twenty twenty two. That's wonderful news. Just wanted to tends to be just wanted to highlight that that's a very positive thing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Yes, because it, it, it's, it's very confusing, especially when we're not specific. If you yeah. have questions, just type out. I, I yeah. probably yeah. should be passing them down. Yeah, that's already just lost. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I've been eavesdropping. Okay. okay. Yes. I, I do have a question in, in regards to maintenance and facility updates. Um, I think it's great that we got the new lights, but I still have a question. On, I know. Kathy, when I brought this up in the past, you say it to me, was, what's going on with this? At the moment, we're kind of in a holding pattern because we're waiting to see what the actual outgo is going to be for the grant. I don't want to spend a lot of money and then come up short paying for the grant work. So we can't fix the water leak because you're afraid we're going to be short the grant? I, I'm waiting to see where the bids come in, where we end up on that to make sure that we can cover the grant work. And Jim Berlin's been a little bit elusive, so I decided to wait till after the holidays to try to find him again. Okay. And when did that occur again? Uh, late in 2021. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't have any more questions in regards to your, um, to the manager's report. Does anybody else have any questions in regards to the manager's report? <clears throat> Kathy, did you have any highlights that you wanted us to be fully aware of? Um, December was just really busy with Christmas stuff. And between Christmas stuff and being mm -hmm. sick, um, that was pretty much December. Mm -hmm. So there's there's not a lot of highlights. Not much happened um, from Christmas until the end of last week. All right. So well, thank you. Um, can I have a um, a motion to submit Kathy's manager's report as uh, as submitted? <laughs> Approve it, and then we incorporate her report in the minutes. All right. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I realize you have to approve. No. Something that we changed recently so that rather yeah. than Dad, I can't I can't talk. I can't talk. a lot of her report Dad, under it. Dad, we can't just include Dad. I will call you back. All right. So this is number two. Ten minutes. I love you. So I'll call you back. All right.
Okay. Um, so, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to re-ask. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Moving on to um, old business, status of the um, grant project. We're still in the selection process. <clears throat> I think we're getting very close. Um, at the moment, we're actually taking a look at references. So. Right. And a little bit delayed by Kathy being out sick. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't get sick like that again. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Um, ho holiday open house discussion for the 14th. was uh, very well attended. Um, people were very grateful and uh, excited to see the holiday decorations. Um, we did get a significant number of donations and um, it went really, really well. It was uh, myself, Jacqueline, and Betsy, and um, Connie was upstairs talking about J.C. Penney's. J.C. Penny. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I added, added the S like almost five minutes. Like, so so it was very well attended. She loved it. She was just, mm -hmm. she was so glad that the house was open and she could just come. And Karen's like, don't take a nap. <laughs> I slept in the whole thing. <laughs> At my house. Fortunately, I did. <laughs> The only thing well. I would add here is they were very successful, and so I think we should move forward with getting bigger donation tubs. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. actually, I, I, they I, the big one down. Yeah, I just kept taking money out of it. Yeah. But you know, just having a nice big one is nice. They could just toss it in. We don't have right. girls taking five dollar bills. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I like that. It's, good idea. <laughs> I like that it's closed. So let me let me think about that. Okay. There, there's mixed things about that. If you have a, a real big one, then somebody might grab the jar and run out. I mean, there's been a bunch mm -hmm. where they've done. Well, they, they, they look here. full. When they look full, people feel a little pressure to 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 do it too. Okay, I'll go moderate. Let's go a little bigger. They have big ones and they have little ones. Yeah. Um. So we'll and and the. Part of the issue is they need to be attended. You can't really just walk away from them. So at least if they're little and you, can, you have to move, you can like pick them up and take them with you. Um, I think the the uh, having them look full um, is is kind of a marketing thing. Yeah. But there's psychological there because if they're so full you can't stuff in. Somebody's gonna say, "Oh well, there they go." Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. half full is good. This uh, is like cup half full. For those of you who weren't here at our Santa open house, somebody stuck a five dollar bill in and didn't get it complete, quite completely mm -hmm. in, and, and some little girl walked over and went. Put it in her pocket or on her way out. It was. Kathy and I just looked at each other and like going, did you so just decide I'm not going to bother asking Santa, I'll just get them. Yeah, right, right. exactly. Yeah, yeah, so I was like, well, okay, I've done so, this, now I'm just going to go, I'm like, oh, there's this box of money here for me, I'll just take one. And, and I was just hysterical. <laughs> Fortunately, your parents saw her do it, so we didn't have to <laughs> say anything. <laughs> anyway, my point is just a little more, a little cushion room in there would be nice. Yeah, yeah. I like that idea. I'll, I'll see what I can find. Um, when I went and got those, I was we were trying it yeah right. so um, and they're not inexpensive that was like $35 Ooh. but um, that was the only one I could find in town and looking on Amazon it was I couldn't really tell what they were so I'll look a little bit more it's kind of hard when you're you're looking on one sometimes to yeah see um, in regards to the open house I just wanted to ask um, in the past I know for the Santa open house we have the pictures and stuff upstairs for sale and books and whatnot and we didn't sell anything i also think that it was kind of distracting um with them being up there right next to santa claus because you got the kids and that's what they're really focused on is there any way that we could consider displaying something downstairs or on the table next to the fireplace to, to, to promote it, selling those it was more a function of um space. there were only two well space was one and the other one is um, it was more a function of who knew how to run the credit card machine. And since Sam was doing all the stuff at the front door um, and really needed to be focused on that, um, I put it upstairs because I was the only other person who knew how to run the machine. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I also think at that particular open house, trying to sell stuff is, you know, people weren't here to buy stuff. You know, that's, I agree with that statement. 
but for, for I absolutely agree with that statement, Kathy. But for other open houses, I think it's possible. Well, we've had it on the dining room table can, can and we, the parlor. Can we yeah. move it someplace else that absolutely would be willing to purchase? I mean, if it's in the corner up there, like I said. The families were too focused on Santa Claus getting their picture done, making sure they got their coats on and got back out the door. By the time that hit, they didn't. Yeah. No. Well, and the other thing is, we had, you know, we anticipated that we were going to have a lot of people sitting around and waiting. Mm -hmm. And um, the only table that's really big enough to do it down here is the dining room table. And I really didn't want people like fingering things and. You know, so it's it logistically that was just a better place for this particular open house. Okay. Um, and at Art Walk, we have to consider you know whether we want an artist or right. a display. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll just going forward, we'll make decisions about where the best place is. That's good. And I'll tra and I'll train somebody else to run the credit card machine. Yeah, so where I'm at isn't always the right. function that That's drives where we put it. Yeah. 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 I, I think that would be great, and I, I agree with your your statements and. and that sense and maybe we don't do it at our walk but we consider having it here for all the other open house functions. Okay. okay is any so, other comments need to be made particularly about the holiday open house on December 14th? A couple questions so on the same line with um, those items were they available for um, sale at the December 14th? We didn't have the staff to okay. support that. Okay and then um, did you happen to get a guest list Available so you could sign in I didn't or? at the December one. Okay. Um, and we haven't had a lot of success with that at the other open houses. So we'll keep doing it. We'll put it someplace. Like, I think it's kind of a new, you know, thing that we've just come up with as of yeah. last year. And I think the, the more we get ourselves used to doing that at any open house, the better off it'll be because we have several people from the community and beyond who say, I would love to know when something's coming up. And this is like we've said. A way to reach out to them through constant contact with someone mm -hmm. um, in a group and be able to say, "Hey, here's an opportunity to work for you to have a calendar who wants to come, who's joining us." So right. I think we need to make sure that we're including that going forward. And it's, do you guys understand what it, you're trying to? Just because you're new, and I'm trying to make sure that you're up to speed as what we're doing, and not just rolling over. Um, if if you have any questions with this group, please. <laughs> yeah, I have a question about the Christmas program yeah. for the children. Um, is that mainly for Longmont, Boulder County type residents, or can somebody from Erie or uh, I wasn't sure on that. I had a friend out in Erie, and I wasn't sure who. Monsanto was open to open. open to everybody. everybody. Okay. That's what I. Mm -hmm. so, so, so anybody can sign up on online. As long as they sign up online. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to know. Okay, um, moving on to the house manager's pictures project update. Um, where are we on the hanging system? It's sitting in the back porch. It's here? It's here. here. Yes. I am so excited. That is very excited. Um, I think it's very exciting news. Um, is that something that, um, do we know when possibly we can look at getting the pieces so we can um, call a uh, meeting to work on those and get the, the, the pictures framed? I I guess I don't understand the question. Okay. Is there a specific time that the system is going to be installed? Mm. It isn't scheduled yet. Is there any way that you can kind of let us know when that happens? Kind of Absolutely. Do a shout out. So maybe this is something that we can be talking about next month. Hopefully by that time it will be installed. Okay. Um, and on one more question, are the pictures ready? Are they framed? Well, that's one of the things that... I mean, do they have to be, does this have to be up before, or could you get them framed in advance and then just hang them? Well, that's kind of what we need to probably have a meeting to work on that project. Just wondering. So, we can, so we can set that meeting now. We can choose, you know, have time to, to set that meeting to go through those photos or so, I have a question put yes. into February. Did you get all of the pictures? Almost all of them. Almost all of them. Okay. Almost so all of them. who's framing the system that you've ordered? That means the pictures need to be put into that system? It's a it's a hanging system and, and so we can use whatever frames and we can change them out. 
Um, it's like at a museum. It's a hanging mm -hmm. system. It's so wires. wires. It's wires. It's wires. It's so, they can, so they can be moved or manipulated in, in any fashion to, so we don't do damage to the wall mm -hmm. for, for one. And so, you know, what we've been doing is we've been collecting the house manager's pictures since the beginning of the house. Now, some pictures we have not gotten. There's, for example, a couple that was here that did it, and we have not been able to find a picture of them. But what we've done instead um, is we've decided to, you know, Karen, do you want to explain that we've got the... Sure. For those we have a picture of, we will include the picture and their, their dates of service and their name, of course. Um, those we don't have a picture of at this point, who knows, maybe down the line somebody will find a picture of these people, then we can um, include, um, a, it's going to be like a silhouette of the gate, uh, and then just their name and, and their dates of, of service. So that it honors all of the house managers over the years. So how, how many? About how many do we have? There are like that need to be seventeen or eighteen. Do I have that number right? Sounds about right. It sounds about right. right. Yeah. Yeah, actually, right. except for myself and Leslie Boynton, they're listed in the book I gave you and toward yes. the back. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the work session you're talking about mm -hmm. is when we physically put them into look at what frames we're going to use and 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 um, and put them together. Decide which which pictures would be used. That's better from the research. I can have them printed and bring them to that meeting, but then it's going to be a matter of you know collaboration of everybody saying, "Oh, let's put this in this time." Yeah, this and and so, some of the pictures are more flattering than others, so we we had to kind of decide. You know, one of them, one of one of the dear ladies was working in the car, and she's working, and she's kind of sweaty and had this <laughs> look on her face. And that was the picture that was posted in the paper, and we're like, going, oh, we got to find a better one. We found a better one. We found a better one. And so, then, how many uh, of these past house managers are accessible, living and accessible, to get their pictures? We don't know where most of them are. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the wind. Yeah. Yeah, in the wind, and and that's one of the big things. Is like the couple I know um, that was here. I traced them back into working at the inn in um, Estes, so we this library and try to find pictures that way and we've not been able to. Mm -hmm. So we've done historic research on, on this stuff and basically if if people want to be involved with that, with what we're working on, just kind of, it's a volunteer step forward. I would like to do that. That sounds interesting to me. To please put forth because the more people working on this, the more eyes, ideas are the better. Um, it's a fun project and it'll be beautiful when it's complete. And it's to go on the upstairs hall, on the wall, wall on the wall. So when people are like, yeah. How many were missing? Ish. It doesn't have to be exact. Maybe five. No, that's not much. I'd, no, I'd like to suggest crazy. that maybe we put all five of them on one silhouette instead of having five different silhouettes. Which I think we need to leave room for. Future house managers. Yeah. Just type it. I mean, it's just a suggestion. Yeah, Since it's it. just data, can't we just put them all on in one frame? Well, it'll depend on um, the sequence of how things are going to hang. If they're going to hang in chronological order, we, it may be something very small and kind of simple. It's not going to take a lot of space for anyone who don't have a photo of. Mm -hmm. But I, having that space saved for them is probably not a bad idea because in the event that we actually end up finding a photo. Okay. And, and I think that's part of the reason why we talked about going with the hanging system that we did, because it can it's always be re Right. I, I, totally, I totally understand. The other thing I think, um, and I think once we get the system up, we'll have a better feel for it, but I, I think the frames need to have a little bit of weight to them in order for the wires to hang straight. So I, I don't think little bitty frames are going to work very well. One would be one little one would be incorporated in a string. Right, so that's, that's, that so makes right. sense. That that makes sense. We're just yeah. not hanging one right. itty bit little thing on any wire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when you yeah. when you talked earlier about putting um, this one in this frame or this one, that does that mean that you're going to have different frames, different yeah. styles? Because that's of the, the air, because oh. of the air when they serve, we were looking at trying to find frames that would be suitable for that time. That would still blend and incorporate, but it wouldn't be. It'd be more historical. There'd be more historic than than 
Plus, if they aren't all the same, you don't eventually run out. <laughs> yeah. right. You have to change them all. Exactly. I mean, that's, another, that, that's, yeah. another, that's yeah. another reason. So if we have frames to donate towards this, mm -hmm. that would be wonderful. Oh, yes, so yes, yes. And what size are we looking at? Oh. Bring okay. your me and everything you got. Bring your box. Man. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's, that's you. <laughs> because, again, cost is... We can yes. We're talking about small and care uh, donating. Uh, is there any color? Do you want them all black, or do you care if they're colored or anything? Okay. Okay. I, I, I think that's kind of where we're at. We're trying to, to keep the matting the same. Yes. Um, and and have the habit be that way. But that's one of those things. So let's set a date and time to work on the house manager. Anybody has any ideas on what work to work on calendars? Wednesdays or Thursdays were good for me. Wednesdays are not good days here. We're, we're typically pretty busy. On Wednesdays? Yeah. Thursdays are better. Thursday the 19th. Actually, I can do the 19th. Does that work for anybody else? Or am I wrong? Or so I, I wrote that. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I turned it off for the meeting, so oh, yeah. Everybody understand. I can do the 19th. Are we looking in January? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. It's Thursday the 19th. What works better? How many for people you? did you want? I think, and again, if we meet, it, we really, there needs to be three. I, I, it, Isn't it okay that if we're working on projects, it's okay? It is fine. It, it is, is fine. That's yeah. fine. As long as, as you as don't have any discussions about that. board business. Yeah. And That's no a, discussions. It's just, just a lot of us work. Okay, well, so just. Yes. So just projects. So why don't you, we first find out who wants to participate. Yeah. And then who would like to participate? Yeah, who would like to participate to work on it? So there's. Wonderful. So there's a plan. And, and so, is your phone ready or, or it is still? ready? Yeah. So it's that Candy, Karen Cruz, Karen Reed, and Maureen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And potentially my brother gets into town that day, but okay. I'm not sure. Depending on timing. Okay. Might be able to. Well, and well, I'm, I'm available too in the afternoon. In the afternoon. So what time would work better for you? Well, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure when he gets in or what the plan is that day, but um, but yeah, if that if that works, I'll, I can be here. You, so I'll just send an invitation, and if you can be here, yeah, yeah. Be yeah. Here, and if you exactly. can't, right now, yeah. send it to everybody. So, so you say sure. afternoon, what time in the afternoon? Uh, any time after, actually, it's, uh, yeah, any time after 1 o'clock. Seriously. So, where are you guys at? Do one more? One more. Or one can we do 1.30? 1.30? Would that be good? Okay, we'll go 1.30 then. All right, All right. so we're that in. Great. Thank you. All right, and Kathy, thank you for sending out an invite on that. And would we want to shoot for bringing in donated frames and that? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, this is a well, perfect time. What will we have to represent photos? We have the actual photos. I will yes. print the photos. And exactly. are they different sizes now? They are. Okay. Can you print up a note on what sizes you have so yes. somebody doesn't come with the 11 by 14 frame? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe the date of the Only person, person, too. Actually, can you just specify? And yeah, options. Yes. I can, yes. That would help. Yes. So Otherwise, there'd be a lot of frames you can't use anyway. Yes. Nothing. Nothing larger than an eight by ten, of course. Okay. Just know that much. Anything in between? Okay. Nothing smaller than a four oh, by two. Oh darn! I was really trying to get rid of that. Probably. Huge yeah, that three by two. I think you go smaller than five by seven. Three by five. Three by five, maybe for the ones that we don't have a photo of. So I'd say anything up to eight by ten. And I'll cover it all. Okay. And, and remember, we're trying to keep them more historic, so let's not do any like really out, way out there. Kind of frame, you know, with no outer space looking down mm -hmm. with a rocket ship or anything. Right. Right. Okay. Um, and that's here at the house? Yes. yes. I'll set it up, send out an invitation. Okay, moving on to the past and present board member wall acknowledgement. Anything to talk about? No, we're talking about the house manager pictures. 
So um, last month, Sonora mentioned that she got that um, uh, scanned in, and, mm -hmm. and the files are to Kathy. Mm -hmm. um, Kathy I can still need to send it to you. Please. And then that way, I can put, put um, the names into um, the legal size and then and print the that out. The legal the size it's going to be? Yes, please. And then I can print that out and bring it to next month's meeting for everyone to take a look at. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll get that done. So these are pictures of past no. and present. No, we're yeah. not names. We're still on house managers. Okay. Yeah. We're, no, we're, we're actually we're we're on we've moved to D. <laughs> yeah, we are, we've, we've finished house managers project. We'll be meeting um, next Thursday at one Yeah, that. okay. So we're now on past and present board members. Okay, my right. no. question is, how are you doing with getting all of those? No, not just names. Names. So so names. 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 No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. No pictures. It, it, okay. And it's a beautiful, yeah. nice, long list, but a little more than 70 <laughs> names wow. um, over the course of the history of the house. So it's beautiful. And we'll have it all together. Um, in and the artwork is beautiful, too. Yes, yeah. it is. Well, Eric it did a really lovely job. So Thank you for doing that. Yes, it's so, great. Yeah. So, so Capture of the history. Can you explain what, what the artwork is? Because there are only yes. The artwork being used is um, the letterhead that Tom Graham <coughs> used, um, and specifically the, the last letter that he had typed um, to the board in 1938 included this letterhead of the image uh, of the house, the picture of the house. It's beautiful and it's, it's a wonderful tie in to um, the beginning of um, the board and uh, the board members over the years. So, having that. Um, as the, the letterhead, so to speak, of this list of all the ladies who've served the house over the years mm -hmm. is, is what that project's about. And it will be in um, basically in, in one frame and then potentially put in the meeting room. Is, is, is that where you're thinking? Um, I'm thinking it? actually at the top of the stairs, the, the pieces of the hanging system I think will extend all the way across that wall, including on the other side of the wall, and on the other side of the wall might be a great place to put it. Okay, mm -hmm. but it's just a beautiful way to capture all of the years of all of the ladies' service. And, the, and many, many, many shines. Very I'm nice. going to ask yes. where he's on there. Oh, Are you yeah. kidding? There isn't, there isn't a time when a shine isn't on there. <laughs> so. and, and as you remember, we had discussed originally that we had talked about maybe doing individual plaques, doing all that kind of stuff, and you were the one that brought up that can you imagine what that's going to be and then all the plaques and then trying to find a new plaque and, and, and how how um, discombobulated that could be at a certain point and so we came up with this way that we can then update it yeah, and, it and, and print new members on there in a very uh, tiny so way. So it's, it's a frame cool. letterhead with the names. Yes. Yeah. 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 Real names and dates. Mm -hmm. so. Just acknowledge. So I will, uh, if you'll provide it to me, mm -hmm. I'll get that together and bring it to the next board meeting. That works. Great. Right. And then uh, you said a legal size? Mm -hmm. So that'll be a custom frame then for that one. Uh, it will likely be a, or just a larger well, frame. Like 14 or something. Maybe, maybe you can find it standard. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll take There's it quite a lot of legal yeah. size standard yeah. frames. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, if anybody has any legal size frames, that might not be worth asking to bring. So, right. about that eight, eight by ten, yeah, if you got a look, you know, yeah. it'll be fine. We'll find something that will look nice and not be um, expensive. Okay, uh, moving on from the past and present board members' wall acknowledgement, we're going on to the scrapbooks. Connie, um, who has stepped off the board, was involved in doing the scrapbooks. I know. Um, I didn't do a lot of the scrapbook stuff. Did anybody else? Um, Karen, I did. Karen did. So I okay. Yeah, I planned to pick up where she left off and and continue that process, and then also move toward the process of digitizing. That was one of the other the other things. So you know, we have these scrapbooks that sit in the house. Okay, that go clear back, and all the ladies have done the scrapbooks. One of the things that we've discussed is if God forbid there was a fire or an incident or anything that happened and we lost those documentations, we'd like to have those scanned and up in the cloud and, and digitized. So it also allows anybody to see this that yeah. wants to um, learn more about the house. That's, that's a project that um, is been discussed um, to save ladies or So the intended audience is external as well as internal. Absolutely, Absolutely. because it's history. 
in the history should be open and, and open to the public because this is a public health work facility. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Um, I do have a short addition to that. Um, okay. I ran into Susan Wallach. Um, I don't know if everybody knows who Susan is, but she was the um, uh, internet or web um, supervisor for the city. She just retired, um, I think last year, mm -hmm. and um, sh her new project is digitizing things. So I have, I have her part. So just, I just thought, um, and my other comment would be, I, I, I think this is a wonderful project. Um, I'd like to maybe digitize one and then see how many people are really interested. Because I also think that the cost to do it, unless we take it on ourselves, could be very cost prohibitive. Um, so I, that's my thought process is we pick one, maybe the oldest one, because I think that has a lot more interest in terms of history, and digitize it and then see how many hits we get um, and how many people are looking at it. I understand that you're concerned that not everybody is going to do it, but I still think it's, it's appropriate to preserve history and have it preserved so it doesn't disappear. And um, maybe that's something we consider doing even a fundraiser for or, or something along those lines. So to cover that and we're not eating into anybody's budgets or anything, but maybe we work on a fundraiser to get donations to have that as a specific goal. Sometimes it's easier to, yeah. to get a project funded by working specifically on a goal. And maybe there's a small grant out there that we can get it um, through a community based service through Target or someplace else mm -hmm. that we could have that specifically covered. Let's take a look at doing one and see what the process looks like and what it costs yeah, and figure sense. out where we want to go from there. Yeah. Sounds good. And if it were digitized, digitized oh, eventually. If it were digitized, then it would be an item that you would navigate to on the website for how yes. it helps. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the goal. And the other, the other thing I want to add to that is, um, since content management is is a thing, um, and those pages are kind of a weird shape, mm -hmm. um, we would have to figure out the right way to do that so that it was meaningful when people got into it. Um, it's not, I don't think it's just as easy as scanning the pages, and I think there's more of a process to it. I, I, I agree, Kathy, but that's part of the reason we've been in, in uh, contact with Eric Mason from the museum and discussing mm -hmm. exactly what's the best format to do mm -hmm. that in. Right. Yeah, and, and they told them there were 12 by 12 pages, and he said that's not a problem. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's I think it's totally doable. I, I think it's totally doable. I'm just saying it's a process. And I'd like to work our way all the way through the process from beginning to end with a specific book or set of pages and figure out how involved it is before we sign up for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. You know, one way of generating funds might be that those books are out whenever we have people in the house That's so that they can idea. look at them and then we have the donation jar, whatever yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. Would you contribute towards the digitizing of these? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's yeah, a great idea. Yes. Maybe yeah. reach great out idea. on social media too. Right. We do have to be yeah. careful though, because some of them are getting a little fragile. Yeah, so we don't True. want people, really especially children. Yeah. 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 yeah, So maybe have them out, like, but not touchable. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Open to a certain page. Gloves. Or something. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alarm. So proud of us. We have gloves there. We have gloves there. How many books are there currently? It's roughly. And how often do they get created? It's um, ongoing. Ongoing. Just ads. Yeah. 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 Well, one fills up all of it. Okay, okay. Like, this thing? This no, they're big. Wow. They're really big. No, they're wow. like, it's they're an like enormous project. Yeah. 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 It's a yeah. yeah. couple yeah. inches. And, and, and especially back in the day, they had little tidbits and cards and napkins and yeah. all the little things that sort of make that so cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, at some point, those probably should be given to the archives. And we did, um, years ago when I first was on the board, there were a lot of things that we gave to the archives already. Um, but that's the best way to preserve that kind of stuff. Yes. Then people can make appointments with Eric and actually delve into them. Mm -hmm. So if this digitizing works, mm -hmm. then that should go to the archives. I, and then I we go on to the next one. Ab mm -hmm. Absolutely, I agree. Mm -hmm. um, it goes in by the museum. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. It would be wonderful. Yes. We, 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 we have to submit them to Eric. Eric would write them to the board. They would determine if they were going to submit them to the archive or not. And I would hope that they would 
because they are there. And, and we've already special. done that and process at some point. Yeah, there, so. they do have a Callahan house file. Another really large one. I know because we're diving through it, but in there. But the scrapbooks are not in there. And you're right, I agree with you. I think they should be in there. So can we chase that a little further down the road and see if by making them part of the archives, maybe the museum might digitize them? Oh, <laughs> just an idea. That's yes, they're digitizing yeah. lots of things. It's fun for me. Just an idea. Yeah. That's yeah. that's yeah. awesome because then he, he could put them on the website. Right. Well, the museum's archive mm -hmm. website. Uh, on the other hand. I like the idea that there are access to, to the house. We could do a link. We could do both. You can yeah. tie things together. Mm -hmm. Digital the expense. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, Jen. And well, I agree, but it's just an idea. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's kind of what they do. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I think, so we've got a lot of information here. Um, and the scrapbook project is going to be an ongoing issue. Um, I think we should um, put it on next month with agenda for sure to cover it. Um, and then, uh, what should you, would you like to set up a time to have somebody work with on the scrapbooks with you, or uh, set up a meeting at this point? Is any, well, is anyone interested in working on this project um, along with me? Um, that's I'm not a good scrapbooker. Me neither. Mm -hmm. No. Everybody, that's okay. Everyone has their their passions or their things, and that's okay if this isn't one of the ones. <laughs> I'm good with it. I can take care of that. Would anybody be interested in actually seeing the scrapbooks like one a month? Like next meeting, maybe bring the uh, uh, one out, out there. There. Yeah, and we nice. put our white gloves on and we look at it. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like to do that outside of the meeting. Yeah, Not during yeah. the meeting. Yeah, yeah. because. Yeah. We're yeah, no, I'll set the meeting. Okay, we could yeah, do that. It could take some time. Yeah. Oh, no, we wonderful. Really yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So let's kind of plan on doing that outside of the meeting because um, we're going to be looking at meeting times and stuff coming up here. So <clears throat> uh, moving forward, then, if there's no further discussion on scrapbooks, the Callahan House Advisory Board Annual Report to the City. Um, that's one of the things that. Um, been working on to finalize as soon as we get all the numbers and then I need to set up um, to submit it into the city clerk and, and have it so we can present it to, to, to city council. We need to be able to get that on their um, agenda. So I, I have a question here too. This is something new? Um, no, this is the annual report. In fact, you've done one where it was submitted yeah, into done. your name's on them. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It was years ago. But okay. It was years ago in, in which we submit information of what we've been doing. And unfortunately, when I came on this chair, I wasn't aware that this was something that needed to be done until I delved into the past records. And it's important that we're relaying what we're doing at the house, that we're continuing to. to to inform so so the, the city council is aware so the public is aware that we're here this is what we did we, we, we're still working and doing things during covid and um and just um catching up on those reports is so, there a format that the city provides <coughs> no we are we're using a format that has been used in the past by the board itself okay same format and is this with information that would be different than what Kathy presents? Um, no, not really. It's, kind of a summation. it's just a summation of what we've done, about what clubs are here, who we're accessing, just so people are aware of it and yeah. relaying the information to, to City Council. So it's not a, a detailed thing like mm -hmm. the regular It's like two pages. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like for the year. It's like an overview of two pages. And we're covering three years because well, it wasn't done. and. We're very lucky to have a mayor with us, but we haven't had a city council person here to relate back to city council and tell them what we're doing. So this it's just important that we're, we're keeping that touch. Mm -hmm. and, and as an advisory board, we have to be able to tell them what we're advising. Uh, if the information's not going anywhere, it's what's the point? Mm -hmm. so, so again, um, this is, it's was actually, um, under what the, the chair was supposed to be working on every year. So 
um, we'd like to, to catch up and do that and finalize the report. Um, I would like to, to do that this month, um, uh, working with Karen, who, uh, who's, who's um, the acting secretary and Karen as past secretary. Could we set up a time to do that? Yeah. How does that get submitted? Um, again, I, I believe we, we submit it to the city clerk. But just, I mean, it's a are physical. You, are you sure. thinking of it being an information item sure. that is included within the city council's packet? Yes. I can submit those on behalf of the board. Thank you. Um, so, um, and maybe Joan can explain a little more about that process. Right. You submit it to city clerk, mm -hmm. and then she gives it to Harold. Mm -hmm. And Harold and I um, make up the agenda for each meeting. So it depends upon how full the agenda is for a certain date, mm -hmm. when it will be on the agenda. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff that they're doing. So. Right. Right. And there's an online portion of process by which items are uh, introduced for yes. consideration. So yes. I'm able to do those. So okay, when right. you have your final document, um, I can get yeah, those in into that. So document. that's wonderful. Right. Right. So, and then the city clerk will uh, advise you as to when it's going to be on the agenda so you can uh, be there to present. Thank you. Yeah. And you would have notice. Well, that's the question. You have to be there to present it? Yes. At the podium. I don't remember that either. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was handled differently. It could have been. I, I don't believe it was. I yeah. Know, it, because, yeah, because um, Mary also did one and she, yeah. So, you did it. That's <laughs> okay. Yes, the ones you had re most recently is one I used as a yeah. template. 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 And that's okay. what we're doing. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, so what work, works on your calendar, ladies? <laughs> Tuesday the 17th okay. and Monday the 23rd. I'm good on the 23rd. Do you think the 23rd? Yes, okay. Okay. Um, if we can't meet here at the house, could we meet at the library? Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. You're welcome to come to my house. It, are you going to make goodies? Sure. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. right. We're there. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, morning or afternoon? It, it doesn't matter. It's okay. What time? What time do you? you? Um, can we go 10 o'clock? Yes. 10 o'clock? Sounds great. Okay, guys, um, January is always tends to be a long meeting, unfortunately. Moving on to, um, it, first of all, is there any more old business that's not stated on the agenda? Okay, moving on to new business, posting um, location for agendas and cancellations. The um, standard posting position or posting location now is the web with a backup location at the, the um, 50 Kim Park. Mm -hmm. So we just need a motion to, to do that. I so move. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Aye. motion is passed. Yeah. Okay, that's quick really and easy. Good. Okay, um, election of new officers. Um, just so you know, there are three positions for um, officers there's the chairperson, there's the secretary, and there is the historian. I'm sorry? Just continue, please. Sorry. Okay. I just have a question for Simone. Right. Um, so I thought it would be easy if we, um, it, kind of easier to do a slate and, and then we can go easier rather than doing individual offices. Um, so is there anybody that's interested in serving as an officer? Mm -hmm. Serving as an officer. And what position? Yeah. I'd like to be a story. Been chair, been chairperson for a couple of years. I've, I've served as secretary for a couple of years and then just a few months as well. And um, and the story is, is certainly somebody I'd like to continue with, but also in this role. Anybody else? No. I'd like to run for chair. Good. Um, I like fourth for chair as well. Is there 
anybody that would like to serve as a secretary or as chair and we put it out there and, and just I'll do secretary. I'm I don't want you to do secretary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, I guess so there's there is there anybody else vying for any other positions besides the the chair? I guess I mean it's up to the candidates. Okay. Um I guess we'll put forth a, a vote I guess, uh, on on that. Um so I'm not sure how you want to do that. Do, do we want to just go ahead and, and just do a, a show of hands? Do you, or do you want a piece of paper where you can write down? That's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm Same. just gonna rip up some papers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> some papers can't with it. I'm a good ripper. Would it be possible, since um, not everybody knows um, everybody very well, would would you be able to say a few words about what you would like to, um, what contribution or what you could add to uh, the Callahan House Board meeting as a chair? As, as the papers are being <laughs> distributed. I'm saying great, we're in a straw poll here. Yes. Yes. Um, um, yeah, I would like to, um, this is my last year on the board, my sixth year, and I was chairman once before. Um, I'd like to keep it, um, working forward, uh, preserving the house, preserving the historical value of the house we have to work on, and we all want to stay friends doing it. And um, I would like to just um, keep it um, so we're all involved. I think, you know, we want to have everybody and have a participation in it if, if possible. And um, that's all. I just would like to help me. Um, I think it's important that uh, we Continued traditions of, of what the board is. Um, the chairperson helps set the agenda, and by um, doing so, it kind of helps drive the, the working aspect of it. Um, I hope that um, everybody is willing to, to um, work and, and volunteer. And I know Ann has said this isn't a job. Um, but it, it's important that we are um, working to help preserve the, the home and its, it's, it's purpose. So, Okay. 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 Council. Okay. Council. 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 Oh boy, I'm well liberated. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's do that. Make her accountable. We don't want any frogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. This would be the time to get some coffee, right? Yeah. Let's get it. So I have a 10 o'clock meeting with her in 15 minutes. So much. I'm so glad you could come. Yeah. Hey, it's yeah. very yeah. quiet. It was fun to listen to hear what's going yeah. on. Thank you for being here. I can't, I can't thank you anymore. It's so nice to have you. Thank you. Oh, sure. I work with one of your relatives that I went on. Todd French. Anne. Anne is the show. What is she doing there? I've uh, been retired for quite a while. Lots of ribs, mahjong, <laughs> <laughs> all that fun stuff. Yeah, well, hello, hi. I will. I really enjoy it. I will. But our kids have to stay together. Mine and yours. Oh, my Jennifer. Oh, and your that's son. Right. <coughs> okay. Kids. Yeah. 
kids. They're our kids. I know. They're always our kids. I, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the older I get, the, the younger they are. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so our 2023 chairperson is Anne. Congratulations. 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 Okay, so I will finish the meeting and then yeah. um, we'll I still have to read Robert's rules. <laughs> so I, I, I think you need to do a motion to accept the officer. I'm doing that. Yeah. All right. Um, so um, as the board's, as a slate, accepting the officers as Anne as president, as um, candidates, um, as secretary, and Karen um, Cruz as historian. Um, can I get a motion, please? I so move. Okay. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 So, moving forward um, down to the meeting um, day and time. Um, this is one of those things that we've discussed in the past. Of, do we, we can always change the meeting date and time. Um, and it's been discussed that we should possibly consider moving the date and time um, that to make it easier for getting new members onto the board and um, and making it easier for to fit the to the anticipation. Um, what's the thoughts? I'd like to propose we move back to our nine o'clock time start time. We used to be nine, right? It was nine. Yeah, and then we moved it to eight thirty. Mine is really nice for me. <laughs> for me, anyway. I don't yeah. know. Everybody has their own, so I'd like to hear other people's ideas on it. But um, in the winter, especially, because you know, if it snows, the plows don't get out early enough. Now, in the summer, it's different. You know, you get up early. Right. You know, but, True. Um, I like nine o'clock for myself. But. Uh, the reason why we, we, we suggested moving it and it was accepted by the board is because we had a member that had a lead or a, a commitment. Mm -hmm. um, so so um, that's why it was shifted. To, to 8.30. Um, I'm of the opinion that we should consider moving the meeting to an, an um, early afternoon so we can get other, um, we are an open meeting and I think we should be able to have other people that work and, and do other things be part of the house. And by meeting in the day, it doesn't always make that um, easy for other people to be involved with. What, what do you mean by other people? Um, community, the community members, community members that work that can't be here that would like to be part of, of our board. Um, other boards in, in the city meet in, in the early evenings, 5 o'clock, 4.30, um, opening it up for, for other members to, to participate <coughs> other than just retirees or, or individuals that can make this work. It's a thought. But you're talking about people who are not on the board just currently. With, well, but but we in, in the past we've had a hard time getting people. We have to three serve on, to serve on the board. But we've already got that. Yeah, we got it. So well, let's just go with what we've got. Yeah, I mean, I, the people I who are was. here, yeah. what's convenient for all of us, and not worry about future later on. You're going to get another later on to reset the meetings. Yeah, we can always reset the meetings. Well, do we have any concern that we're being exclusive in choosing a, a daytime time frame? I think that's something to consider. I don't know how other boards um, function or if they try to focus on um, after business hours. John, do you have any, anything to share about that? Yes, um, it's complicated. <laughs> if you are looking for younger people to be involved, then it has to be outside of the workday. Um, unless they're self-employed if you you know it as and i think what uh, maureen was talking about is we as you term out mm -hmm. attracting new people what do you want do you want younger people who will serve longer do you want uh people who understand history which might be older people because we lived in some of the history um, so that, I think, are the discussions you need to have. Um, do you want outside, this is an open meeting, do you want other people who are just interested in historical things to be able to come and just listen? Uh, then it would have to be outside the work day, I would think. Or maybe during lunchtime. Mm -hmm. You could have an hour 
in 45 minutes of a lunch time, mm -hmm. maybe we, once a month. Have we had a lot of requests for people to come? Um, I am the last person, public person, who attended a meeting, and that was 12 years ago. So we're talking about like either 8.30, 9 a.m. And, and then or after 5 o'clock or kind of a, it, It's open. Or a lunch hour. Sure. Lunch yeah. hour. Yeah. Okay. So then it's available to anyone. Speaking as someone yeah. who does work full time. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the, I work in Boulder, so mm -hmm. personally for me, the lunch hour thing is not great to drive back to Longmont. Oh, right. Yeah. Then yeah. I go back to Boulder. Yeah. That's just me. Um, but the 9 a.m. sounds great. Um, I could also do after the work day, but I kind of like the idea of starting my day and coming in, but it, you know, I could see how it could be more attractive to other audiences who work full-time at night, but if there's not a lot of interest there, it makes sense to make it as accessible for this group as possible. It's never right. been done. Mm -hmm. So this meeting has always been a daytime and, and um, it's been by normally by um, retirees that have been on the board. I think that's one of the things that um, in the past we've had a hard time getting people to serve on the board, and that was a discussion about possibly leaving our time. And that's personally, I like it during the day, but I think again, it's if we can open it up to get more people involved. Um, always mm -hmm. encouraging to do that. So the next time that it would be open up, there's not there's not an opening before next year. Is correct. that correct? Okay. That's correct. So maybe at that time when we open yeah. it up, we could say meetings subject to, yeah. or to TBD, so that yeah, people exactly. can submit their interests without, you know, being put off by the meeting time. Exactly. And mm -hmm. then maybe at that yeah. time, depending on who you want on the board, you find a meeting time that works for everybody, and then maybe right. that, you know, it keeps Going that forward. open for people that aren't. And, and, and just so you know, time. this is something that um, we had a retreat and we discussed and we decided that this should be discussed at January. Every January it should be open and discussed yeah. and rediscussed yeah. on when we should be doing that meeting times. Mm -hmm. So depending on who's on the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we've that done sense. that. Yeah, we, we have. Always done. We have. Yeah. Yeah. It's been on the agenda every January. Yeah. In so, one form or other. So I. I move that we keep our meeting day on Wednesdays and move our meeting time to 9 a.m. I second <laughs> Second Wednesday. <laughs> second, <laughs> second Wednesday of the month? Of second Wednesday. Yes. Yes. Second Wednesday, second Wednesday, yes. Second Wednesday yes. of the month at 9 a.m. Okay. So okay. who is the second? I'll second that. We kind of talked And did. Uh, 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 <laughs> and and beat me. Five. 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 Okay. Five. Done. Done. Done deal. Um, we also stated that we'd look at calendar and look at open houses. Um, so moving on to the open houses of, of um, 23, we should decide when the open and schedule open houses for you. Let's start with how many do we want? I mean, for the schedule, how many open houses do we want? Okay. So I'd like to start with one a quarter. And see see how we do. Well, what has it been so far? We're coming off of a pandemic, so life has before been. Before pandemic, with pandemic, I think it's the slate's pretty good at this time. Okay. And we currently already we have agree? two on the yes, schedule for 2023. Okay. Um, Art Walk is on September 9th, and um, the Santa Open House is December 1st. So that would be third and fourth quarter. Although I, I would like to have a second one in December like we did this year. I agree. I agree. Yes. I agree. It's, 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 it's worked really, really yes. well. Yeah. And how it shows so well in December. Mm -hmm. It does. Beautiful. Um, would it be possible to propose that second December date? Maybe it could correspond with on my lights? I think uh, that's that a good idea. Or I, I or, don't want to do it that weekend because everybody wants to be down there. Well, I'm wondering sequentially. Like if it's a the weekday that you have it, it's part of that week celebration. It's a possibility. But do you know what the dates are for this year? It's usually the ninth or tenth of December, so maybe a Thursday or the. Wednesday. So that would put us doing two open houses back to back. Oh, gotcha. Because of the be Santa fun. open house. When is Santa? Santa's the first of December. December. First. December Although one. well, see, and we can't do the sixth because we. We have clubs. Clubs, no, no. Actually, we don't have clubs that evening. 
So we could do the sixth if you wanted to do one on the first and then another one on the sixth. December sixth, which is a Thursday. It's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. 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 Okay. Can I throw a monkey wrench in? Sure. <laughs> Look, <He's laughs> <doing it. laughs> you know the uh, the um, home chores oh, yes. that are held the first week in December. Mm -hmm. The um, oh. um, habitat yes. is is now in charge of those, and and I've heard them mention that um, Callahan House would be wonderful if they could put Callahan on the tour. Um, and they did over home at some point. I mean, we did over home. Um, so I'm just throwing that out there to see if there's any interest in that type of thing. That's wonderful that, because that ties well into what Connie Newman just was saying at the end of the year, saying it would be really great if we could bring the house back into the, the tour of homes. Because at one point it was, wasn't it? And she had suggested, hey, uh, we weren't necessarily part no, of it, we, kind of we just it. had it open at the same time, no, so she explained. Fine. That actually, was the case. Actually, actually, yeah, we actually our original dates for the Santa Open House were driven by the tour of homes dates. Okay. Now, my comment about participating in the home tours, and we actually did look at it pretty hard one year, is um, because they have requirements about you know who's going to decorate and um, and the fact that things are for sale in the house. Right. It really was not a good fit for us because they weren't going to decorate on our schedule and then as soon as the tour of homes was done all of the stuff was going to go away because it was going to get sold right so uh, it it didn't really turn out to be a very good fit for us it's a lot of work well and it's well it's and it's it was like it's like three days isn't it, it is three days and it did and and our Santa open house is already tentatively scheduled for the first day of the home tours mm -hmm. yeah that is, but are you well, saying that we can't sleep. have our house decorated as we would normally? And no, that was not the way it worked. No. It doesn't work that way, but no. could could we piggyback like what we've done in the past where we have an open house at the same time? Well, that, that would be us doing two back-to-back. Back. Before? We have done that. Yeah, that's how we started. So That's how we started the Santa Open House. Mm -hmm. It was in conjunction with, mm -hmm. actually, it was be before Santa became a thing. We actually had the house open the same, one day during one of those days. days. That we and we piggybacked. That's mm -hmm. how we started the the original okay. December open house. Mm -hmm. When you first talked about a second one in December after Santa sometime, what was the thought about what that would be? Um, we this year we did a weeknight and that worked quite well mm -hmm. and that's kind of what my thought was. Is there, is, it, really is it Christmas yeah. related? Yes. Yeah, it yeah, it's just for people to see just the decorations. decorations. See, the difference is the Santa night is mainly by reservation and only people with kids get okay. to see the beautiful right. decorations. So we decided we needed another one so that just the general public could come in. And there was yeah. no reservations. No reservations. Okay. So you could come so and when it opened it up on Yeah. And we had 228 attendees. I, I think that would be a wonderful thing. I can see um, like a little corral thing. Oh, I don't know what you guys do. A little like, corral thing. You know, there's can so you many. tell us what that means? A corral, oh, a corral yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, because I know at Christmas time, uh, several of my friends get excited about anything going on in town that's Christmassy just to get you in the mood. Right. And I know lots of people who would love to come in here and see kind of an old-fashioned Christmas celebration. I think it would be lovely with Wassail or whatever you do. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Sure, that's what you know. I think, I think it's, it's great. great. When's the lighting? That second. It's usually, it's, well, it's, isn't that usually the last weekend in November? In November. In November? Mm -hmm. It's um, mm -hmm. it's this past year is the 9th and 10th. Of December. Well, it's lights. She's talking about the Christmas tree lighting, right? I, I'm not sure. I'm what sorry. I'm <laughs> Whatever the city event is that brings me oh, out lights. All uh, the holiday uh, parade down lights or the parade and everything. Yeah. 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 Is it the down chat? Don't they do two different things? They do two different things. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. yeah. they, they yeah. light all the lights down at Roosevelt. Right. I don't want to do the same and, and, then, and then they have um, a parade. Right. So, what if we corresponded with? Going with the lights down at Roosevelt Park. The, the lights on they turn on the day I, they are on generally before um, the big strike for the day after Thanksgiving. 
is when the lights never turn on. Mm -hmm. so, um, so is that what you're suggesting, or were you suggesting we do it in conjunction with Walmart lights? I'm thinking to in congestion, in conjunction <laughs> with the My congestion. Yeah. <laughs> um, but in conjunction, because I went to, to that, and then people walked around that, and then people were still wanting to go and do things. And if they're right in this area, driving around, you know, it might be a good thing to have an open house at the same time. I, I don't oh, want to do it at the same time. Well, Friday again, I'm sorry. Well, there, that's, that's a Friday, so a Saturday. Um, so, so we have right the Friday the, as the Santa day, but the, are you saying that the Saturday the second? Is that's the parade. I guess what I was kind of thinking um, was that it could be a week of things. A different things that could be done. Mm -hmm. um, the Longmont lights, the, the particular Friday and Saturday is heavily staff involved and also parking prohibitive. So yeah, yeah. those may not be the, the best um, to date, but either sometime preceding or sometime immediately following. Which, which is why I suggested is, the sixth. Which yeah. could, be, could be nice because it could be advertised as a package start here. Go right. here, go I, here, I, or go here, go here, and then go here. You know, like yeah, right. either way, or so. yeah. One thing we don't, don't have the six or the seven is getting people. I mean, we yeah. have full house. So mm -hmm. if you advertise, which you've done, an excellent job. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we don't have to piggyback. That's don't true. We really don't. don't. What, if, yeah. what if we do yeah. one? Could we do the seven? We could. And what day is that? That's a Thursday. So wait a minute. Is that Santa? No, no Santa's the first. first. Santa the first. Oh, okay, that's the first. So the seventh for the open house mm -hmm. instead of the Friday or the it's it's a Thursday, Thursday rather than the Wednesday. Yeah. I think it's tomato tomato. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And as we get closer, we can adjust if we need to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And if anybody mentions Callahan on the home tours to me, I'll say uh. -uh. <laughs> no, we've work. already discussed it. Yeah. No, nice. we got the first in the summer. The first weekend in December. Yeah, nice. always so the thirty first of the thirtieth of November. 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 Right. So I I just don't think it's a good fit unless unless they would make an exception and let us just do our own yeah. decoration. But that's still a lot. That's a lot of foot traffic, and it's a lot of hours to staff the house. It is. Yeah, yeah. a lot. Is. Talk to Candy about that. That's mm -hmm. three. Yeah, it's it crazy. Work. I, yeah. I Before we move on, can I bring up something yes. about decorations for the house? Um, and this is my opinion, so I'm just going to throw it out there. But we have beautiful trees in every room. But I'm thinking the foyer, foyer, how you pronounce it, um, tree needs a facelift. Um, I think we should find a throw for some new decorations. It's, it's not a happy tree. Um, <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but well, it's very simple it, too. But it, it's also very fitting for the house at my time period. And I, I like a tree that says, I'm a tree. And, uh, <laughs> So I, I, I would love to table change. that for now. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's really not part of this discussion. Yeah, yeah. 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 and let's, let's get on with the open exactly. houses, and, and then we can we can discuss that with the Christmas decor pack up. So I just wanted to bring it up really because I think we have to put some money into new decoration. Not, and I like what's there, but it's just so subdued, and I just want something more lively. Uh, I think it goes nicely with. Okay. Can we feel okay. Guys, I, 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 yes. I'm going to yeah. table yeah. this yeah. discussion okay. because let's move on with well, our, we're still at open houses. We're open houses. We only really, have three. Yeah, right. we're really heavy on the lottery and the, the, the yeah. The late so, so, so art walk. We used to do two art walks. We only do one. Now. And now are we only doing? There's one? only one. There's only one schedule. Okay. So should we schedule a summertime open house? Sure. I I think. I think we can set a date in Sam and and right. just make and target it and then just maybe t tweak it if something right comes yeah. up. I, don't like it. I, I think all of this is all of this is liquid. Pencil. It's it's yeah. just pencil and, yeah. and getting it on the calendar. If it doesn't get on the calendar, it mm -hmm. won't happen at all. So um, are we liking June better than July? July I'd rather go for July. July. June's very busy. June's very busy. Okay. June's so very busy. July's better, better for the house. Yes. Okay, so it's July is kind of the month we're looking at. And I'd like to stay off the weekends. Right. And we're so already working lots of weekends. Sure. 
and okay. the other things and stuff. Yeah, right. Can, can we consider? I know every there's everybody wants to do their own thing for the holiday, for for the fourth. But that being said, that's when we're going to get foot traffic too because people are wanting to do things. So um, I don't. What, what's the suggestion? I guess I don't do we want to do it within she's the first week about July 4th. You know, a lot of us may be on vacation. So That's what I just said. Mm -hmm. I, so I think we have to go over the middle. The middle or the end? Yeah, middle or end. Okay, what, what would you suggest? Yeah. I, you know, I'm open. I'm not going anywhere in July, I don't think. Is that crazy? But um, middle? I don't like to do it. Yeah. So July 12th, like a Wednesday? Or Let's just pencil that in because it's penciled anyway. Yeah, right. July what, 12th? Yes. Um, that, that's not a great day. Okay. Um, I, I have an afternoon commitment and we have a club in the house that day, so getting it cleaned up and reset. Okay. Um, and it's, I'd rather do a day that we're not crazy busy. Is okay. Thursday with that? Because you have the, your calendar, Kathy, what would be yeah, the what best day? What, what's the um, we could, we could, and here, here's the other issue. Um, that's actually a bad week to do an open house unless we do it before Thursday because we have a wedding that weekend and I don't want to have to clean completely clean the house again before we can do the wedding. Yeah. Okay. Uh, custodian's scheduled for Thursdays. So um, if Wednesday, and we can't, Wednesday's bad, I could do Tuesday. Tuesday the 11th. We could do Tuesday the 11th. Or we go forward to the next week. Yeah, the could 19th. we go on the, um, or the 20th? 19th or 20th. I can't do the 19th because we have a club in the house. What about the 20th? That's cleaning day. Right. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. well, actually, that, that at the moment, that week's not hanging, but I gotta look. So it sounds like the 11th is really gonna be a little better for right now. Or Tuesday? We could do, yeah, the Tuesday, the 11th. We could do the 18th. Or Tuesday, the 18th. I can't do the 18th. Okay. So in your book, Kathy, is the eleventh and are the eleventh and the eighteenth kind of equal in, you know, flexibility? Okay, you know, doability. Or the twentieth? With the twentieth one? I don't want to. I, we have. I don't want to say. That's the thing. You can clean Saturdays. If that's. But but if they clean and then we're ready to go and meet because it's going to be a good evening. It's an evening. I I don't want to do the twentieth. Because again, we have a wedding on the weekend. Oh, okay. Same well, problem. Clean for the wedding. Um, so I could do the eleventh or the eighteenth is what we're kind of toggling between, right? Now Wednesday. What about the twenty fifth? Oh. Okay. We do the twenty fifth. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Just three times. So that's. I got a pencil. <laughs> See, I got a pencil to do something. Oh, so, so July twenty fifth. <laughs> yeah. How's, How's that, that work for everybody's calendar? Yep. At this point in time, yes. So I could do the twenty sixth too. Which day is better, Tuesday or Wednesday? I like midweek myself, but that's because Wednesdays are on day. Just a question. Um, then when these are weekday, did you say they're evening? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. And they're usually what? Two and a half hours? I have two hours. Two hours. Right. Okay. What would you want for Tuesday or, or, the, or, seven? or the Wednesday? Five? It doesn't matter to me. And what's what's typical, or is that up, for, up in the air, typical time? Mm -hmm. um, you know, like... What we do last time, 4.30 to 6.30, yeah, yeah. and we were out here by 7. Right. Now the other things like Art Walk, walk is, is a four. bit different. It's like 4 and a half. Art Walk is 4 to 8, it's with a different. little bit of commitment before and after. Oh, okay. these, these are shorter. So they're and shorter. Art Walk is usually when? September, September 9th. 9th. So, uh, and I'll put all these on the calendar once we've decided. Yeah. Well, I just want to get a feel for the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we had mentioned quarterly. Doing these Let's days. finish. Can we finish yeah, the date? Can, can we go for the twenty fifth? It's a, it's the sure. week. It's I think people will have. Well, that's the Tuesday. Is that fine? The twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. oh, twenty sixth. The twenty sixth is what I meant. I oh, that's fine. Twenty sixth being Wednesday. Four thirty to six thirty. Yeah. All right. I'm okay with that. We make a mess, then the cleaners come in on Thursday, and then yeah, the perfect. Okay, cool. Perfect. That's a good idea. I, I, I always have to, I always have to think about that. that. It's well, you know, the point here is maybe we should schedule all these the big circles. Okay. Those two circles for that if we if we can try it, if we can do it, just for that reason to have it clean. Okay. So, so my question is, do we want one for first quarter? It would be nice if we could somehow put um, 
The yeah. trouble I, with for the weather. I was just gonna say, yeah, yeah snow and slush coming in. That's a big mm -hmm. question. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe not first quarter. I mean, we just had two, so I'm not. I don't think there's any big push. Yeah. Well, we did that walk twice in uh, a year. Um, it was what April. It was in May. May, yeah. yeah. It was in May, and we had weather issues. You never know. That's yeah, you just, it, it, it was cold and rainy as often as it was nice. So maybe we don't do one the first quarter. So I don't know. For so this year, it may not fit. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend the first quarter. Yeah. Well, we're also dealing with when we're going to. The other thing that we're having to consider is we're going to we're going to work on the ramp, and, and people will be in the working on the house. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. could oh. have a play with that all of that. That may affect these days. Yes. It's going to mess up yeah. the dates. So, um, <laughs> Right now, July is not very busy, so just a, a caveat that that may end up being when some of the work's being done, and we may want to reconsider. But well, let's put them all on the calendar, and we'll go from there. So we decided first quarter's off, and is that true? Does everybody kind of agree because of weather that we're not going to do something first quarter because of weather? Is right. Okay, so let's look at second quarter. Hey, Jeff, put them on the fingers. <laughs> you have your calendar in front of you. You know which dates work better. So I, I don't want to do June. You don't want to do June at all? No, nope. and it, that's it, why we just, I, mean, I mean, we just talked about the weather in April, May. The weather's yeah. kind of iffy. We've got four of them here. I mean, yeah, we could, we're good. We could go down, you know, sometime in May, the but problem, I don't think April's a good with, idea. It's the horrible month of May. Everybody's doing mm -hmm. everything in May. I, I, I agree. Just and it's just and so it's the option would be April, crazy. and we're back to the weather problem, maybe. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do one in April? We can. I think we can, put it, we can put it on the calendar and not advertise it. Just, yeah. just to have it and on the calendar and it. keep it a little um, low, we'll see how it is. low key yeah. and see. Okay. And and since since you you can get out constant contact information mm -hmm. fairly quickly, mm -hmm. and that's if, working very well. If, yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. If we're able to go forward with it, then I mean, especially if you guys are are willing for the. If you did an April date and a July date to allow those to be outside of the brochure, mm -hmm. but in the email blast, because yeah. to allow us the great flexibility with the construction, right. restoration yeah, exactly. schedules, then right. we've got something tentative for your schedules and calendars, and then we can look at that as when the selected contractor is mm -hmm. to see if that's still right. Yeah, let's try for April. How about April 26th? That's Wednesday, April 26th. Yeah, like, who's 26th? Mm -hmm. Okay, that works. <laughs> okay, so, and we agreed we're not going to do a brochure for either the spring or the summer open house. Just to allow the grace. Yeah, to give us flexibility. Yes. Okay. All right. There's, there are four then. All right. July, there's actually four. five. September. Yeah, two is five. Which that works out right. All right. It's beautiful. Done. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Okay, club affair. 15 minutes. Um, the club affair was one of the things that we've discussed about doing, and we wanted to put it on um, the calendar. And club affair in the past has been an event that we hosted and had different clubs come up and, and do availability. I'm inclined to say that we tabled this again simply. Um, I think we should be back on the agenda and it continues that we should be addressing it. But it's it's one of those things that I don't think we really can plan for and do because of the construction, okay. at least for this year. Now that being said, that doesn't mean that I don't think we just don't discuss it and we don't kind of throw out ideas on, on, on what it could look like um, to, to um, put out there to, to do that. Um, it's it's one of those things that, to me, club affair and the club um, selection criteria kind of are intertwined mm -hmm. to a certain degree mm -hmm. in this discussion because we don't want to promote, we want to have clubs. We definitely want to have clubs. But we don't want to promote clubs to the excess that we can't meet or sustain what they would like to do. And then people are put off by that said well I tried that and I'm not going to do it again um, that would be not a good PR point for us I think um, again that's personal opinion but um, so where, where does everybody else stand in, in the club of their appointment what, what do you think I, 
would suggest that that, along with the club selection criteria, be tabled mm -hmm. to um, the next meeting of us. Okay. Um, we are running over on time. Um, I, uh, I, I still think we should set up, I, I'm going to dis disagree in the sense that I think we should set up um, a group of us volunteers to look at what the selection of the criteria should be so we could bring it back to the board meeting to have something actually to talk about. Working on it, working on it, it's kind of outside to bring it back to the next board meeting wouldn't be a bad idea because well, then the way at least there's something to just to discuss. I think there's really but, two conversations. Could, could we finish the club affair conversation and then move to the next one? Because I, I don't think they're as related as, as Maureen does. Okay. I, the club affair is, a, is an event. Um, the club, club's criteria is completely different. So can we finish one conversation before we move on to the next? So as far as club affair is concerned, I suggest then that we table that because it is an event. It was a fundraiser. That's what it was set up for. And whether we need that or not, I think we, it deserves discussion, but I think we should table that. Thank you. Um, so I, I move that we table that discussion. Until, yeah. until the next second that total okay. Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. And we're going to move it to February? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take okay. okay. this to, to the criteria. Okay. criteria. So, uh, I'm sorry that um, there's a disagreement on that. So, the selection of the criteria, um, I still think that even, <laughs> even it's something that, will, that we should continue to look at. So, so we're looking at what clubs we would like to promote to have in here. And one of the reasons why I think it's important that we have the criteria is for grant purposes. We really want to be able to have, um, to state that we are um, supporting the community's needs and, um, and it's a cohesive type of, of, of action. Not articulating as well as I would like, but um, when you apply for grants, they want to know exactly how we are supporting the community, and this is one of those things that are, this is a way that we can do that. Um, one kind of second. yeah. Um, on the last grant, we we covered that, and it, well, obviously we got the grant of everything we asked. So apparently we're already doing it right. Well, it was a pick and choose among the, um, the clubs letters to okay. submit um, with the grant application and um, specifically there are, are areas that we probably need to ensure we are including in club consideration moving forward that, that we haven't yet and so I think it is important to go ahead and, and meet to discuss all right we can look at um, for example the last grant application and I can show you all specifically what was asked. Uh, yeah, I would. Really <laughs> and then, um, for anyone who doesn't know, then that makes it, you know, understand why we're, why we're doing this. Um, but then we can also be looking at other potential grants that are available. And, and specifically, what are they looking for? A lot of them are looking for not just you know, what what is the um, what is the purpose of you know what you're doing but also how does it serve the community how does it serve a, a specific um, underrepresented group um, how is it all inclusive um, you know what kind of diversity do you have within those groups so there's some really specific things that we need to be paying attention to so that we know what we're looking for when it's time to be adding clubs so just a question about clubs that are existing, um, are you planning, would you plan to keep the clubs you have? Absolutely. Because I, I'm oh, thinking, yeah. boy, if the criteria changed, it would be a kind of a, that's a good bad no, thing if you good. had no. to drop anybody. It's not meant to yeah. do anything to change the clubs that are currently in the house. Mm -hmm. It is just so that we have a, a focus on what it is we are looking for going forward so that any new clubs that we're bringing in are going to meet that criteria that we need to fulfill this full portfolio that makes us look very... So if, if um, a club asks 
to be to meet here regularly, it would need to be in writing somehow in a diplomatic way. Yeah. These are our standards. Yeah. These are our criteria. And then I've always brought up the I'm always playing devil's advocate here, but you know, we are tax supported by you know the yeah. city of Lama. And so we can't really you know, I I'm hesitant on turning somebody away unless what they're doing is illegal. You know, I mean I think our criteria should be Boulder County should be based out of Boulder County, number one. Maybe even Oh, based out of law. Okay, but this, yeah. this is one of the things that is going to be up for discussion tonight. Mm -hmm. and, and you and I don't agree on this point because there's other organizations that are tax supported, like El Comité and other things that do have groups specifically for them, and they're still tax supported and whatnot. This house was given to the women of Longmont to support the women's club. That's it's in our, it's in the ordinance. The ordinance of um, it's in the deed the deed it's in the deed and it's, it's also it's not stated in the ordinance it's in the ordinance it's it's in the deed and we honor it's, the deed it's in the deed but it's also in the ordinance yeah. and the bottom line is that's so i don't i think it doesn't hurt us to have it be for women's groups i know you seem to think that we should not exclude and not be all inclusive for men's group or whoever would like to be here. But part of the, our, the reason we got the grant is because we need a um, underserved community. And we, the women are underserved in, in Longmont. They are still. I mean, there's lots of clubs that are only men inclusive. And Masons, the Good Fellows, all sorts of groups. I don't. Yeah, they're self-supporting. Yeah, they are self-supporting, but there's also clubs within the city, like I said, El Comité and others that, and other groups that are more narrowed down. So that's a disagreement, and that comes down to the criteria, and that's part of the reason why this discussion really has to be had. And you know, one thing that I used to do. Well, our, I worked for Seagate for. 21 years and um, my local giving uh, guidelines were of course based on what the corporate were but as a international group of community outreach professionals we would tweak it you know every so often and, and you always have so many challenges because you really want to serve so many people but you only have, in this case, you only have so much, much space mm -hmm. and so much time. And in our case, it was you only have so much money and the company has a profile and uh, an image to keep up that may not always go with what the community needs. So it was never a perfect system, but it helped to have a criteria that would say, in our case, it was like um, a certain percentage serve the company's mission and image, which was STEM and exactly. technology. That's exactly. And then a certain percentage right after that, right after that was health and human services because it's so important. And then I had the biggest challenge um, with all the requests that came beyond that, but I, if, if it's because there's so many clubs and there's so many things in the community and they, in my case, they would look at Seagate and say, well, you're the biggest company in town. I mean, don't you have enough dollars to spread around? And uh, it, it was a tricky situation. Um, I wanted to include them too. I wanted to have our hands out there everywhere, mm -hmm. making everyone feel like we are part of the community. But anyway, it, it helped to have a mission that was diplomatically stated, you know, that there's a, there's a, in the deed, you know, this is what the mission of the house was. Here are additional things we think, feel are, you know, absolutely essential. And we want to support these others, but we have to keep certain percentages. Yes. And, you know, that way there's a finite amount. and. They don't have to see exactly how many you have. You know, I never said, I never put out there to anybody that was asking, well, we have this much money left. You know, I mean, they don't really know what the full list is. Um, 
it, maybe that's not fair entirely, but I, I feel like you got to have some discretion when you're, when you're doing this because there's only so many people to that yeah. you can please. That's exactly right. See, the point is, Kathy has stated, and, and there's only so much resources. So yeah. there's only so many clubs that we can accommodate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's part of the reason why setting up a criteria moving forward is so important because it keeps the balance in place and yeah. that's the goal yeah and I, and I would just hate to see the Callahan mission adjusted because of what some random grant person put in their grant criteria yes. right I was not it would be hard for you guys to shift yes. based on whoever formed a grant application yeah so yeah. um I, I really think everybody's saying the exact same thing yeah so if, we, if we could just come yeah. and, and get get the wording yeah. Get the wording correctly and then move. And that's why I think we should set up a separate meeting time because this really easing into our meeting here to discuss yeah. criteria. I, well, I, 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 I have two things I want to say. One of them is I think this should be a discussion of the full board. Yes. And, and I think it should be handled in the board meeting as board business. And okay. we should, I think we need to make room for it in the board meeting. The second thing I'd like to say, and I'd really like you to think about this very carefully is that the the primary mission and the reason the house was given to the city was for the ladies of Longmont. Right. There wasn't any criteria put on that caveat or on that deed restriction. And most of the clubs, uh, many, many of the clubs that met here historically have been social in nature. Mm -hmm. They haven't necessarily given back as a club to the community, right. although as individuals, they certainly do. Right. Um, and I would really hate to see that focus go away. And, and the, other, the other thing I'd like to say is, I really don't wanna be the person who starts to enforce a criteria that I don't think necessarily fits the mission. So I, I really want you to go home and think about that a little bit. Um, and, and there's not, there's a demand out there, but but there's not a lot of demand generation. So we're not turning a lot of people away, but we're also not getting a lot of requests. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I would really like to leave it open to um, to the a decision of the moment as opposed to trying to set a lot of criteria that restricts the clubs that come here. I mean, we already have a lot. Most of our groups are social. Yeah. I, I, I don't disagree that, yeah. that, that it's a balance. I think it's all a balance. And, and I think the bottom line is if we do have our criteria, and I understand, Kathy, nobody wants to be the one that has to enforce it, but if we have our criteria, it, it doesn't hurt to have the balance act. And it, 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 it helps put a balance in there. And it also, if we state that we have a criteria, then it doesn't look like there's favoritism going on and therefore we can address issues in, in, in that manner as as well as um it's justified um the criteria is justified because <clears throat> when fundraising specifically large fundraising such as grant applications there are standards by which they're looking and it's a competitive process and they are trying to decide who gets the money <laughs> well <clears throat> In that process, if we are at least acknowledging what they're looking for, then we are headed in the right direction with having that criteria. Now, it's not an all end all be all, you know, stop, right. but it is more of a, this is where we're going. This is where we need to be focusing. And, and if we have two clubs where one really does meet that um, and the other doesn't, and, and it's a hard decision to make because we only have one more spot to, to fill. So then we know, okay, we probably do need to lean toward the one that, that fits the criteria more because the next grant application that we're going to complete, it we're sounds going like to we could, have the support. We could pick a 45 minute hunk of time mm -hmm. in a month of your selection to have an in depth discussion on that. Right. So, is there a month that works better, or would you like to pick a month next time? to assign that conversation. I'd like to wait until next time. We've got a lot on the calendar. I was just going to ask how busy is February's calendar. February's pretty open, um, but we meet again early in February, so. Right. So just um, 
for my clarity, the question is not whether or not there's going to be a criteria. There is going to be a criteria. But we're going to we're going to discuss whether there's going to be a criteria. Okay, and so that's so not what that should set in stone. Okay, yeah, if there's going to be one, and if so, what is what is going on? Would okay. it would, seems like it would help too if you had the list and let's say sort of put it in some kind of categories now, even if they get changed, you know, just to understand what's out there now. I, I guess I'd want what to know here who, what, where is the demand? Because that is a very important part of it. I, I think now. you hit the nail on the head there, and that's what's the demand. Okay. Yeah, and it's uh, social. Uh, right yeah. now. Right okay. Now. I, <clears throat> and I disagree with that statement. I mean, I'll hear at the house. Yeah, but I disagree, and I think part of it is people don't know about the house. I meant, I'm sorry, let's, I, I'm referring to the meeting, the clubs that are currently here are social. No, not necessarily. No. Actually, I'd like, to, I'd like to clarify that. The clusters uh, may be social. Uh, Maureen may speak to that a little bit more. But they're historic preservation, okay. restoration. Um, in, so we should focus. Okay. And they have provided a lot of funding to this house over the years. And they've right. been here for 40 so years. So let's decide what and, do we have now? So we have, and then we have the quilters who... Do specific yeah. stitching in okay, the okay, okay. So this is this is this is so yeah, there's all these things that yeah. All so, I'm asking is if we could have a list next time. Yes. 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 With, with the there's a list awesome. in your book of yeah. the clubs. I put it in there. So look oh. under the club tab. And we can yeah. also have a, a more of a and there's also this and a more in depth oh. of what oh. those oh. clubs oh. do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there is some sort of a criteria that if a club came to you and said I want to meet here, you would ask questions. Well, what does your club do and how many are there? And yeah, well, absolutely. absolutely. There's, a, yeah. there's a club contract, but again, I really like to the agenda. put this off oh, to yes. next month. There you go. I, instead of trying to have the discussion and not have the discussion, right. let's, can we just move it to next month? Yes. Okay, okay, so can I get a motion that we table this to next month, please? Okay, we'll table this to next month's agenda. I okay. second it. Okay, are we going to specifically state for a specific slighted amount of time to have this discussion? Mm -hmm. It does need to be an extended period of time. Okay, can I get a motion that you we do it during the meeting or we set up a date? Can we end? We're moving it to the board meeting to, for a 45 minute discussion to, during the board meeting. So for us to manage your motion. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. I'll move that we move the club selection criteria to table it to next month for a 45 minute discussion. And I will second that amendment. Beautiful. Thank you. Let's move on. A. I'll take a vote. Oh, all of there? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, Christmas decor pack up. We're fun time. I'm just going to do that with staff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I'm just, honestly, we're going to just start taking down a tree at a time as we go. And um, if push comes to shove, then I'll just schedule Jacqueline and Betsy and we'll just get it done. That's what we've done the last two years. It works pretty well. And we've got an awful lot on our agenda and scheduled. And that way we can just do it. Yeah. Well, and you can do it in yes, place of your yeah. events and not have it discombobulated yeah. all yeah. at once. Okay. Okay, other business. Do we have any other business to discuss? Okay, moving on to future agenda items. Um, future um, house restoration and preservation projects to be put on the agenda in February. Is there any additional um, projects or um, restoration um, issues that you think should be put under this um, item? I think the list um, that Kathy has, our spreadsheet, um, is probably what needs to just be brought so that we can... I'd like to move it to March, though, given that we're going to take 45 yes. minutes on the club yes. criteria. Yes. I'd like yes. to do that going okay. March. So if I can get a motion that this uh, this item be tabled to, to the March meeting, please. I so move. No second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, is there any other future agenda items that people feel need to, to be placed on the agenda? Um, I have a, an item for request of some time. Um, Harris and some talk about email marketing like for people who sign up for the Callahan House. Mm -hmm. um, I would love for uh, board input on the verbiage, the actual language that is sent out to people in those emails. Okay. Um, 
I would like that. So, so in other words, we need content. Content. So content. what you would like content to say. Constant, content. Not constant. Contact. Not constant. <laughs> say it again. Um, <laughs> content for constant contact. Contact Regarding the for email blasts. Email blasts for the Callahan House. Specifically members. for the Callahan House folks. Wonderful. So, okay. So um, there's no deadline on that? Just know that for me to create something out of air is, is hard. Because yeah. I, I don't know yeah. what you guys would like to then be presented. you've got a lot of so. stuff on your plate, too. So I'm just putting it out there as something for a so Can you also give us a list of, I know I know a few of all the places we can go online to find this stuff. I know there's more than one spot. Tell me more what that means. Well, like, uh, just say I'm new in town and I want to know what's going on at the Callahan House. I know you can go to the city website, but could you kind of... I know, and Connie was always coming up with links. Oh, she's fun. she's great. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, where did you find it? <laughs> the, the, That's her librarian background. Yeah, yeah. so I wonder if we could get a, just a list of all the possible means of. You know, um, the only one that I had access to is the one not called out of that duck oh, that for one. Um But the museum has links. I, you know, I don't. I would. Leave They're the all on the floor. Yeah, the museum home. also has their own website, right? Yeah. I, like I said, she'd so. come up with some pictures and I'm like, what? You know, yeah. I don't know where that is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. She's good at that. Well, um, so is that an item that we want to have a committee work on to work on Burbage? Or maybe just take up to another this meeting. Just, that's what I was just going to say. Can we add it to future agenda items? Yes. Just, you know, as content for email messages. Okay. okay. So, um, do we. Because next month is going to be very full. Is it okay if we table that until March? Absolutely. Uh, until we have a list, either or. If we're collecting lists at open houses, yeah, there's open right. houses until what April? Great. So, so March, March, April, March, 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 March is great. Okay. So can I get a motion that that be tabled, please? Well, I, I move we add constant the content content for email messages providing to you. So um. To future agenda items, um, but um, identify it as a March um, agenda item. I'll second that. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay, we are on to the adjournment. Thank you, ladies. Okay, so it's 1036. Can we adjourn?